hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I just want to share a quick video with you today and it's actually a thank you, a haul and a project. <laughs> okay, so the, the thank you is for Jan and she's 3362 Jan here on YouTube and she made me the wonderful um, bag that had um, Sunbonnet Sue on and she also made me a gorgeous card as well um, and she then sent me some of the images of Sunbonnet Sue so these are them and, they, and then some for me to colour in as well so thank you so much Jan for sending these to me I think it's absolutely adorable I love love this so much and um, it's so sweet of you to send them to me thank you and I just want to say Jan I know I said it in an email but happy birthday for last Friday um, you're a special lady and I'll speak to you soon okay so a couple of weeks ago I um, bought some of the craft and bellies that Bex, that's uh, Bex Wanson here on YouTube, I'll pop a link to her channel below because she's on their design team and she told me about craft and bellies and I went and bought some and I did make a few projects with them um, a week ago and I haven't filmed them and I did actually speak to Judy, that's the owner of Craft and Bellies, and um, I shared the pictures of the projects and I did say to her that I would get a video done. So I, I'm just going to share that with you today. I did actually go and order some more stuff <laughs> because I absolutely love <laughs> all their products. and. Um, what I bought was some of these boxes that you make up yourself and these are so cute you just need to glue them together um, uh, which way am I doing this? this way okay so these I've I had bought four of these boxes and um, that's a project I'm going to share with you but I did actually go back and order some more because I absolutely loved them so this is the smallest size they do so I got three more of these in this size then they do um, I think this is if I'm right is a two inch box a two and a half this one and then this one, I'll just quickly put them together. These are so easy uh, to, to glue together. I just had great fun with them. But the first time I only bought the small ones, I didn't buy the other size. So this time I bought the other sizes. That way, Trisha. Okay, so. This is a medium size, which is three inches. And then, so I bought three of those, and then I also bought three of the large, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> All right, Let's see if I can hold this one together because obviously I haven't glued them. So this is the large size, which I think is a great size. It's four and a half, this one, which is fantastic. Really good size. So I'm really happy to get those. And um, also while I was speaking to Bex, hi Bex, <laughs> I did ask her to ask Judy, the owner of Craft and Bellies, if they could make picket fencing 
because I've been trying to find it in lots of places and I just couldn't find it and they have actually made them so I am so excited so thank you Judy and Pete for making these <laughs> these are the picket fences how cute are they and they have done them in two sizes This is the larger size and I am so excited about getting these really excited I absolutely love them and Judy is on YouTube and I'll pop a link to her channel down below because each day when they do a new product they're putting it on the YouTube channel as well as the website so today is um, key locks the plates for keyholes and they are wonderful so I can see another purchase coming on. Um, but not only that, she did actually send me um, a few goodies. And thank you so much, Judy. That's so kind of you. I'm, I'm so um, grateful that you sent me these. I'm, thank you. So she sent me all these circles in different sizes. She sent me some of the clouds, um, these little triangle, which are great for um, corners, little feet, you can do all sorts with these, so thank you, thank you. She sent me some of the leaves, which are yummy. <laughs> um, she also sent me, because on my first order I did order some of the large penny farthing, and these ones are the smaller ones, and they are so adorable. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. Oh. So they do have this in two sizes. You've got to go check out their website. I'm just in love with it. <laughs> and she also sent me some of the gates. And again, they're in two sizes. So you have the smaller ones. and the larger one. How fantastic. I love them so much. Thank you, Judy. And Pete, of course. <laughs> so that, that was my, my haul and my very kind gifts from Craft and Belly. Okay, so now I'm just going to move these boxes out of the way and these boxes are fabulous I would so recommend buying them <laughs> I love them um, I'm going to show you what I did with these boxes okay the first one I made into a pin cushion I'm just going to see because I've got a huge patch of sunlight there on my desk so I'm just going to try and move you forward okay so I built the box and then I used some Prima paper, which I think is the Al Almanac stack here, and I just covered the inserts of the boxes all the way around. I didn't, I didn't paint the boxes or do anything. All I, I did rub a little bit of uh, walnut distress stain onto the edges to darken them further. I've got a glue strand there. Um, I added some tiny feet to the bottom. I did actually put the paper on the bottom as well. I added some tiny pleated trim in the black and some black rhinestone trim. And then on the inside I used some packing foam and I just covered it in the satin fabric. Like that. And it makes such a cute uh, pincushion. I think, you know, it it's different and I, th I just think it's cute. <laughs> and of course I, I did make the stick pins to, to match him with the theme. Because the paper's very much brown, peach and black. This stack. So that's the first project I made using the boxes 
Um, so the second one is this one. Um, with this one I took two of the boxes and used one as a lid and one as a base to make a little trinket box. And I'd done the same thing. I used the same paper stack, the Prima, and I, I just put a little bit of stain on the edges, added some feet, and then I, this is actually one of their embelly flourishes, I added to the top, on top of the paper, and it just gives it a nice dimension. And um, then I added some hardware, so I added a um, hinge to the back, and because I didn't screw these on, I have I have to add some little studs here to look like screws. I do have some, I just haven't added them yet. <laughs> and the same on the front, I, I glued the hinge, uh, the clasp on, and I just need to add some little studs to look like the screws to finish it off. And then inside, I've just added, I painted uh, the sides and I've just added some paper into the bottom and the top of the box. And I think that makes a really cute gift box. So I was so happy with how that turned out. So you can definitely turn these boxes into um, you know, storage boxes or gift boxes. And one of these made in the large would look really cute. Okay, so that's the... Uh, let me just withdraw that. So that's the second project that I made with them. And the final one, I decided to make a tiny configurations box. <laughs> um, again, using the same paper, and the same theme. Um, because they sell all these uh, gorgeous embellies, like the dress form, the scissors, the sewing machine, uh, I just wanted to use them all in one, one little box. So again, I used the same paper and I just stamped on it. It says a uh, little sewing company. And then I put the measuring tape paper from the same stack round the edges. I added the sewing machine and right in the back there's a little bottle of um, beads. Took a couple of spools and added some pearl string in the colours to blend in. There's also a tiny bundle of fabric in the back with some buttons. See how close I can get so you can see it. And then I added uh, the dress form onto the side. I also added some spools for the feet and then the scissors onto the top. And this was a real fun project to do. And I think they make really cute little individual configuration boxes. And of course, if you know, if you had four of them, you could build a configuration box um, in many different formats because of the sizes, and they're just perfect for it. <laughs> just, I had so much fun working with these, um, and. If you haven't checked them out, um, they're definitely worth checking out. They have they're fantastic prices. They're a UK company, um, and they're absolutely lovely people. If you've got any ideas of stuff that you're looking for in wood, they will try and design it. They can't design everything, but they will try. And if they can, they they would let you know, and you'll you'll you'd see it in the store. So I really hope you like these. Um, like I say, I'll, I'll pop the link to Judy and 
Pete's store which is Crafty and Bellies in the description box. I'll also pop in her YouTube channel and um, I'll put Bex in as well because she's on their design team and um, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of her projects very soon. So thank you for watching and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.